the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior this morning. Glory be to God in the highest. Glory be to the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Savior, our soon coming King this morning. Beloved, hallelujah, Jesus. Great is his faithfulness towards us. His mercies, they never cease. Glory be to God. Even in seasons where we feel trapped and alone, where we feel as though we are being punished, glory be to God. Where we feel as though the Lord is somewhat disciplining us or somewhat um, chastening us. It is a very unpleasant feeling. But consider the love of God this morning, which is greater than any love that you can humanly understand. But let us even look towards having probably a child. And you as a parent, the child may be acting up or acting out. And there are measures that you may take because you believed in your best interest of the child that this will better able to mold them, to bring about the, the characters or the way that you will accept as a parent, the way that you believe will benefit the child, will benefit society, the morals, you know, that are accepted. And you will begin to discipline the child. And in that moment, you know, consider even you as a child, when your mother, when your father, when your aunt disciplines you, when they have to probably shout sometimes, when they have to physically beat you sometimes, when they probably lock you in a room, put you in a corner. Hallelujah. Did the love, did the love that they have stopped when when they were um doing that did their love for you cease did not those actions did not those actions that they that they did only they did it for or out of the love that they have for you that you should learn to do better they did it out of the love that they have for you, that you should learn to do better, to become better. Because they would have had more knowledge, more understanding, and you would not. And for some of us, it is when we become an adult that we, we understood the ways, the ways that we were disciplined, that we understood that all along when we had resentment, when we think that we weren't loved, when we think that we were the black sheep, you know, persons were only hard on us because of the expectation that they have for us. And even so, when we act out of the will of God, things will happen. We will be in that corner, we'll be the in that or on that wheel <laughs> where the potter really just wants to mold us but all we can see is just the broken pieces all we can feel is just things not going back together and if it even do come back together the 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 the, the lines will be so visible to us to remind us that we have been chased on Glory be to God. But beloved, this morning I simply want to say to you that the Lord cares for us beyond our understanding. Beyond. You know, you think that sometimes you are doing you are doing what's best for you. Come on, God knows what's best for you. Sometimes we think that we know what's best for us. But God knows what is best for us. Glory be to God. I'm just simply reminding you that don't, don't give up on God. 
don't forget God. Don't lose faith in God. It doesn't matter how hard the situation becomes. God is still God and he's still fighting for you. And your process may be hard and lonely. But there is something about his grace. There is grace in that brokenness. There is grace in that lack. There is love in that lack that you are not able to see. But even as you should continually grow in faith in the Lord, you begin to see that even while you are being punished, his love never ceased. His love never failed. Glory be to God. And so we're going to look at Psalms 142. This is the Psalms of David. He says that this is when he was in the cave. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. It says, I cried unto the Lord with my voice. With my voice unto the Lord did I make my supplication. I poured out my complaint before him. I showed before him my troubles. Glory be to God. When my spirit was overwhelmed within me, then thou knowest my path. In the way wherein I walked, have they privately laid snares for me. I looked on my right hand and beheld, but there was no man that would know me. Refuge failed me. No man cared for my soul. I cried unto thee, O Lord, and said, Thou art my refuge and my portion in the land of the living. Attend unto my cry, for I am brought very low. Deliver me from my persecutors, for they are stronger than I. Bring my soul out of prison, that I may praise thy name. The righteous shall compass me about, for thou shalt deal bountifully with me. Glory be to God. So the scripture that stood out to me this morning, the verse that stood out to me this morning, is I cried unto thee, O Lord, and I said, Thou art my refuge and my portion in the land of the living. Glory be to God. And at the end it says, Thou will bountifully deal with me. Glory be to God. So this morning, if you feel as though you have no safety. You have no peace. Glory be to God. God is a refuge for the oppressed this morning. In the presence of God is where we can find refuge. This refuge will never fail. He is our portion in the land of the living this morning. It doesn't matter this morning who is forsaking you. Glory be to God. David was in the cave. And I assume this is when he was hiding. He was running for his life. For Saul desired to kill him. And he said there was no refuge. There was nowhere. There was nobody for him to run to. There was no door that would open to him. But he found a cave, glory be to God. And he began to pour out his complaint before God. He began to um, speak to the Lord. And he says, there is no man on my right or on my left. There is no refuge. There is no place for him to hide. But this morning, who is that Saul that is seeking after you? What is that destruction? 
What is that device that wants to overtake you this morning? Know that the Lord is your refuge. Surely David must have even felt that even the Lord at some point has given up on him. Because after all, he was anointed. He was anointed. He was chosen. He was unpicked by God. Yet, he was running for his life. Yet, he was in a situation where he could have said that he had no refuge. He had no place of safety. Hallelujah. But he said, I pour out my complaint before him, him God. And he reminded God of his troubled, his troubles. And he said, God, you are my portion in the land of the living. You are the life in my body. You are the breath of life in me this morning. You are my refuge and my strength. You are my present help in times of trouble this morning. Bring my soul out of prison that I may praise thy name. Bring my soul out of prison that I may praise my, thy name this morning. For thou shalt deal bountifully with me. I'm saying this this morning to tell you to remember who is a refuge where is that place of safety where is that keeping power where is that love and mercy that never fails it is in christ jesus the lord bless you the lord keep you may his face continually shine upon you this day in jesus holy name Amen.